Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault. Jersey Joe Archino back here. And I think when you start to look at how the way the Premier League has unfolded, we spent a lot of time talking about a lot of the successes of the Leicesters and the Arsenals and the Manchester Cities. One of the clubs I think we all kind of had a very high on our radar was obviously Manchester United in year two. Louis van Gaal gets them back in the Champions League, brings them back to that prowess level. But it has just been a complete and utter disaster for Man United this season and I don't think that any of that could be really uh, put into perspective more than their loss to Southampton this weekend losing one nothing. reports are coming from every source here and there it's unbelievable the amount of news we have coming out of Old Trafford but I mean it really seems like Louis van Gaal offered to resign after Saturday's loss um, and, and the one thing I will say about Louis van Gaal is he's not somebody who makes excuses every single time his club disappoints every single time they've had a bad loss he has not put any of the excuses on anybody else but him he's always been upfront and honest about it and I think that's something that in the world of football where everybody always has an excuse for something I think that's admirable that he's always out there at the front and he's always taking the blame he's never made an excuse and I think I, I respect him for that but his style just doesn't work. Sometimes you could be a great, it doesn't, it's in all phases of life, all different sports. You could be a good, a great manager, but sometimes it's just not a good fit. It, sometimes it's in business, sometimes it's in sports, sometimes you're very talented, but you're not a right fit for something. I think that's kind of the case here with Louis van Gaal. Very good manager who's done a lot of great things throughout his career, but sometimes it's not a fit, and I don't think Man United has ever been the fit for him. Obviously, finishing in third last season wasn't too bad, getting United back into the prominence of the Champions League. But this season, I think you've seen it more than anything. It's just his tactics, his style is not the right fit there. What is the interesting thing now is Jose Mourinho. Ever since he got the axe at Chelsea, I think we all kind of assumed the Man United, the heat and the pressure was building on Louis van Gaal, and this would be such an opportunity. I mean, this is the, I think the three best managers in world football. Number one, I think you have to put Carlo Ancelotti because I think he had his tactics and his ability to navigate through all the egos, which are so difficult and have been the downfall of so many managers. is just unsurpassable. He's the best at it. I think number two, you have to go with Pep Guardiola, what he did at Barcelona, what he continues to do at Bayern Munich, and we'll see what his next adventure will be, perhaps with Manchester City. And then number three, Jose Mourinho. I think he comes right behind those two guys. Uh, I mean, again, I think it's so hard to deal with with the egos in world football. The war, the entire ecosystem of the sport is built on handling egos in addition to the tactics associated with the game. And I think sometimes that's so difficult at a big club like Chelsea, which we see, we've see we seen that happen with Mourinho. He'll have that success, he'll win, it'll be at the peak of the mountain, and then the more he's there, the more grueling work he demands from his players, they kind of turn on him a little bit, and that's happened. At, that's what, exactly what happened at Chelsea. But the reports are that he sent a six-page letter expressing his desire for the job at Man United. His agent, of course, has denied the report, but it, it seems like the type of thing... Jose Mourinho would do and if you're Manchester United if you're going to give the axe to Louis van Gaal which very soon we think he probably will get it how could you go wrong replacing him with a guy like Jose Mourinho I think Mourinho is just this is what he loves to do there's no question about it. I could just picture him right now he's sitting at home watching and breaking down the film just waiting for the telephone to ring to pick up the phone and accept the job this is a guy who I think again Everywhere he's ever been. He won things with FC Porto. He's won things. He'll win things anywhere. It's just the matter of building the, the timeline for him. The, ba the back end of the timeline is not always the greatest, but initial success is always there for Jose Mourinho. He's one of the best in the business, and he will win everywhere. And Man United has a tremendous group of talent there. They're not the same level. They don't have the same collective group of talent as a Manchester City, I don't think. But Manchester City has that talent, and the competitive advantage is still not in their favor. Having a manager who puts you in position to succeed is just or if, as important, if not more, than having the talent to back that all up. We see with Manchester City, they have the best 
core of talent in the Premier League that clearly has not showed against the opponents that matter. They couldn't even find a win against Man United in their first uh, uh, match this year. So I think having a manager like Jose Mourinho come in instantly changes everything for them. I think it, it puts them right at the top of the Premier League because let's be honest, I love Leicester City. I think what they've done this season is remarkable. But at the end of the day, there's always going to be that separation of who you truly are, who is on your team, is all of that. And I think Jose Mourinho really is the symbol of what Man United has had during their story career and what they need to kind of get back to the prominence land. But Louis van Gaal right now, again, it only is going to be a matter of time, I think. Obviously, he's kind of... he. The fact that, again, he doesn't make excuses he's always accountable for himself he offered to resign and I think the more he's seen this kind of build and the struggles of Man United continue to un- unfold he has been more and more accountable for everything it won't be that much longer and then the only question is what does Jose Mourinho do it's very difficult to see any manager coming into the season at this point and flipping it all around because it takes time to kind of institute your philosophy to really get the team to really gel and mesh with your tactics. We see it right now in Roma with, with Luciano Spigliati. I think it's going to take him a lot of time to build what he wants to do in Roma. You can't just come in at this point and do it, especially with the race and the battle we see atop the Premier League unfolding between Leicester, Man City, and then Arsenal. It's going to be difficult, but even with that uncertainty, I think Man United's got a shot to somewhat sneak back into the top three just because even with Mourinho, I think in that little time, with that such a competitive battle at the top, I don't think anybody's truly out of it at this point. I don't think even a team like Tottenham is fully out of it. Until Manchester City gets Vincent Company back, I don't think we'll really know who they are. Uh, Leicester City, again, they play so well. There's no egos there. I think everybody just plays with each other, and it's not that collective big money club like the others are where we see so many problems unfold. Arsenal, it's the same thing, you know, very talented side, but the consistency is the thing you worry about. Tottenham, I think, is still a cut below those clubs, but they still are very competitive in their own right. There's still a lot of things and a lot of football left to play in the English Premier League season, and clearly Manchester United is one of those ones where, depending on how these next couple of weeks unfold, we will certainly see. But until then, Jersey Joe Archino here with the Sports Fall. You can follow me on Twitter, at Joe Archino, on Instagram, Jersey underscore Joe underscore Archino. You know, and I'll be back very soon.